Hi everyone, this is Hyowa here. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to the um, story teaser, Golden Midsummer. Uh, I recommend do not watch this, so spoiler alert for those who have not completed it, like me. Um, I'm only doing this video to see, um, well, I want to see the traffic and see how it uh, affects. I personally have not started the summer event because I have to um, complete Muna's quest first and then start the whole um, Kazuo story and then do the Midsummer Isle uh, event. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. So I'll be reacting to this in English, Japanese, I often and Chinese. Travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. As always, the animation is very One good day, with this. I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. One of the students and I meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. <laughs> Oh wow! She looks amazing without her hair tied up. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. To you who lived here in the past, I hope you liked this song. One stormy night, a girl found a way to the future in the library. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans <laughs> and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. <laughs> For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. <sighs> For sure. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. It That's a constellation, was so right? dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to I'm loving the art style, the seriously. Night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It is never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. <sighs> okay, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, each one of these characters had their very own, very own distinctive art style and theme, which is very enjoyable. Let's go on to the Japanese version. I believe this is when he was running away from the vision decree. あの日ついに山頂にたどり着いた。足元には雲があり、耳元では風が吹いていた。誠に高き山、誠に澄んだ心。無我、無根。無我。旅に出よう。拙者は風だ。いかに長き道も出会いは。I still can't believe how much Shinyang looks so 
Amazing here. I want a skin like this now. The chibi singer is just so cute. Look at her. <laughs> I love how she picked up the star on the... I want to hear this... She really... She exudes such a different presence in that form. And Chibi Fischl! <laughs> she reminds me of... Um... <sighs> Was it Anna? From Shadow House? Anime? I think there's um, a lack of the slip sync this time. The Japanese and English version. I have to check the Chinese version soon. Since I've not played this, I don't know if this is meant to represent Oz, but this is supposed to be a, a, an invisible bird that's made of crystal that sings. And also, what I don't know if the design of the clothes of the crowd are monster people or if they're different nation. I love this, the, the circles, the way that everything twirls is very reminiscent of Van Gogh with his picture of the stars. And I love how it kept her theme very fantasy. Alright, let's move on to the Chinese version. I want to just see if the voice acting um, or the, the lip sync matches. Chinese Japanese translation of the Chinese script is almost perfect. I mean, the only difference would be that he says um, Whereas in Chinese he says Which is, means I am the blue wind I guess would be the right term Also I love how she, his one is him running away from the vision decree I remember that very um, crimson scene in one of his memories, one of his flashbacks where he gets surrounded by the um, Doshin um, and he basically has to fight them off and there's this uh, crimson scene for that and that's him running through until he reaches the end of the island where he sees another couple of islands and decides to go on the journey and I love how it seems to kind of connect the two because here we have Xinjiang at a cliff overlooking a little, you know, a little tiny island there but she's playing the song with this I assume it's Ginkgo? Is it Ginkgo? Or, or is it supposed to be just autumn leaves? But it kind of connects the two together. And I have to admit, seeing Chibi Shingyan, seeing Chibi Fischl really adds new depth. I do feel like a guitar is out of place. Maybe they should have gone for um, a pipa instead of a guitar. But then, I guess this is to pay homage to the fact that the guitar is the um, the instrument that kind of symbolizes rock and roll not the electric um, guitar but the um, guitar that was used <sighs> I can't remember their names I'm so bad with musician names um, it's very, Jimi Hendrix 
people who basically use the guitar and they're kind of symbolized by the instrument and I assume this is the reason why they picked that um, as the instrument to represent what inspired Xin Yang and you can see it it kind of reminds me of Kaon a little bit as well kind of like when Yui kind of sees the guitar for the first time and sees someone playing the guitar for the first time and she gets inspired and she picks up the pose like this but I love how her face goes from really cute to this kind of like almost rock star kind of expression you know seeing her eyebrows her eyes and that, that grin on her face but she looks absolutely beautiful in this I wonder how many new watchers have fallen in love with this new representation of her and just fallen in love with her and because Shinya is already quite um, an interesting character you know and now this adds more depth to her character as well and I love the fact that they kept this um, this ring which is part of her elemental skill or burst Come on, man. There's just, just nothing more to say than wow, really. And it's kind of a shame because her scene is quite short. It's only about 38 seconds long, maybe. Kazuha is about 55, hers 38, and the rest of this kind of goes back to Fisher and the Bird. I do like Fisher being a chibi here, but hey, we're going to see her other eye as well for the first time. So she's obviously very into her fairy tales and stories. I can't wait to play his missions. Yeah, so the voice lip syncing matches. Don't get me wrong, I mean, the English and Japanese did very well in trying to lip sync it, but I think it's because it's very hard to lip sync official, I guess. Or oh, very hard to lip sync Chinese. I mean, we've seen. Loads of terrible lip syncing examples in old kung fu movies dubbed in English, but I just assume it's very hard to dub it. She looks so cool in there. <laughs> I do feel like at one point they need to start buffing the characters up or adding new play styles because the rate that Genshin's going is that yes, we're going to get loads of new characters, like loads of them. But it also means that we're going to see a reduction in characters being used. I myself have already seen that in my own gameplay. I'm always sticking to the usual five stars. Uh, rarely going for the four stars unless I need them for a certain reason like sucrose. Um, and because I don't actually spend as much time on Genshin as some people, I'm not exactly experimenting as much either. So I'm sticking to what works. So I would love to see them kind of add new bursts or new skills. Again, the music, the art style, the drawing, they all create this sense of belonging in the Genshin universe. And they keep producing these high quality trailers. Or cutscenes. I, I believe this is an in-game cutscene, so I will at some point have to actually play to know what um, this is all referring to. I personally believe that this is Jim Ren Island. I could be completely wrong because there are a few other smaller islands that kind of look like this. The only reason I say it's Jim Ren is because of um, this kind of shape. The island where I kill the um, 
can't remember their names now, but you know the samurai characters for their hand guards in one of my videos. There is um, the island that looks like this. There's this connecting bit here at the bottom. There's a big hole in the middle. And then there's another island across from it that you have to fly from the teleport point. Only difference is I don't know if these smaller islands exist on that. That button could exist, but these don't exist from my memory. And the only place you could be overlooking this from would be from the cliff's edge near where opposite where I the Kamisato residence is near the big giant cherry blossom tree uh, growing out of the um, this, this stone tower again it's really good animation I mean here it goes from really blurry to really clear and clean and then it keeps that autumn color that symbolizes Kazuha as well. I, mean, I know he has the red hair and the white hair, but it's, I don't symbolize the red with him. It's more of the season that he's supposed to represent, which is autumn. Despite the fact that he was a summer character. <laughs> It's usually due to maple leaves, summer, sorry, an autumn um, leaf color. Again, I love the detail. So rather than keeping this completely just clean blue, they've added these cloud lines, like this, this, these wind lines, as in to show the airflow of the sky, and then the birds themselves kind of like flowing with these, these swirls in the air. So yeah, so his one's about 51 seconds and then I love how it kind of connects it from shore to shore to another area and then it's still keeping that autumn colour. Because again, I feel like she symbolises autumn as well for some reason. It could again be the red. Um, there's, she wasn't released in autumn, that's the thing. So when was she released? I can't remember now. I think it's around the summertime as well around with Eula so it's maybe spring but again <sighs> I would say she in this video is the star of the show just because one we're seeing a new look on Xinyang and it's a very good look um, if Mihoyo ever does uh, another skin, another event I am expecting to see Xinyang with her hair undone just flowing freely because this is amazing I I'll be honest you probably all Genshin characters look good with their hair down so. <laughs> and then at some point I really hope that they can bring us the chippy characters whether in just story form or actually give us a playable character I've, I guess playable characters are a bit overkill but I do hope that they can bring us these characters I wonder if this guy is just um, just a random character or if he ever will get a role I and mean, we don't see any eyes so this is usually the sign that this is just a, a random character and a random NPC. <gasps> I just love that, her eyes just sparkle and it, this face here is just amazing. And look, she's got even... wait... Did that just suddenly appear? No, no, it's the, it's the music from the music she's listening to. She magically summoned a musical note. But look at this, this is just... And despite having things like the spikes, she doesn't look like she's a really scary punk rocker. She just looks... very soothing, I guess the, the, the term would be. She's a soothing beauty at this point. And as she adds to it when you remember that she's a bit of a scaredy cat as well, like she's she's scared of frogs and stuff. I mean that that look is so soft. Just so gentle. Oh, 
自己说：“要创造自己的梦想之国，捡起石头，搭出城堡与乡镇，铺上山岭和海洋，并告诉所有同样拥有梦想的灵魂，请为一切不真实之物感到骄傲，因为我们高于这个世界。” You know, it's because it's been such a while since I've seen Fischl in any videos or any promotion materials that you forget how cool her design is originally. And now that we've got a new skin with her hair partially down, looking forward to obtaining that skin as well. Again, if you pay attention, the lip sync is perfect for Chinese version. I know this is supposed to be the Chunibyo syndrome. I've not actually watched the anime Chunibyo yet, so I need to watch that at some point. But she is literally the embodiment of that, and she is just cool. <laughs> actually, it would have been very interesting to um, Rie Takahashi voice her instead of Hu Tao, just because she has the eye patch. <laughs> Yeah, I just can't tell. It feels very monstery because of the dress, and this she this girl here re reminds me of a character inside the um, monster area. Though it seems to be duplicated here. Oh, I guess they they would eventually have to. Think <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Margaret or something. And that, that looks like Noelle, you know, Noelle as a chibi, you know, because she's got the little maid hairdress. I love, again, I love the art style. This, again, they kept that kind of, despite it being the sky, instead of keeping it empty, they've added the wind. Uh, these uh, symbols, which kind of symbolizes the airflow, but at the same time keeping this kind of grid over the top of it, like if it's music, like some instrumental piece. It makes me also wonder now we're going to see some new ships at some point. So here we've got, I would assume this is Liu Wei. But it could be not, it could just still be a western town, it's just the rooftops look a bit Asian. And they're different as well. And then we've got the windmills, which would represent Mondstadt, for the windmills. And then this would be Mondstadt itself, I would assume, but I don't know. I wonder if this is supposed to be one of the sacred beasts of Venti, but then... Again, look, I'm just making stuff up. I haven't played this mission yet, so I could be completely wrong. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, video uh, reaction, uh, analysis, or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. They will help me a lot in the long run um, in hitting monetization. I actually really want to see what that actually entails out of YouTube. I believe that's also when you're supposed to receive a plaque from YouTube as well, once you reach that stage. Um, I'm also trying to move on to drawing as well. Uh, I've uploaded a few pictures of um, some characters I've drawn, like Raven and uh, this original character I doodled yesterday. I've uploaded the drawing videos as well, so please check those out. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you're in London, um, it's really hot today, so stay indoors or stay cool, one way or the other. Um, remember to stay hydrated, uh, and if you're traveling, try to stay out of the sun and stay in the shade. Uh, and don't get on the trains if you are not feeling well. And if you are feeling well, or sorry, feeling sick while you're traveling, please get off to, onto the platform so someone can help you. Um, yep, yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.